So today, I think we're all culprits of this topic, and it's related to our use of social media and how it's kind of just controlled our lives and the world we live in. How many of you guys have, you know, been out with your friends, gone to dinner, and haven't looked at your phone just for the hell of it? Like, there's no notifications or anything, you just inclined to scroll down and be like, ooh, what's new? That's not even a question. Like, I think automatically, at least I can speak for me, I can yeah. just... I'm always on my phone, just checking whatever, even though there's nothing to check. Like every moment of our lives, we have to update people. Like how many of you actually check your phone the first moment you wake up? Like they're like Instagram feed. Okay, I know. I finished that. Now I can wake up. <laughs> but what if we told you you couldn't use social media for a day? I think like you wouldn't. I don't know. Your hands would be just like constantly reaching out yeah, to your like, phone. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like that Will Ferrell thing. What do I do with my <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with my hands. Uh, it'd be good just to hold them down by okay. your side. Yeah, great. Well, we were real happy with um, with what was going on, and uh, at the end of the day, um, you know, you got to be happy. Um, hey, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Everything was fine. Thanks. Thanks. Great job, Ricky. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> so we've come up with five ways how we believe social media is ruining our lives. <laughs> Yes. Just between friends, how we interact with people that we don't know, that we haven't met before, as well as the people who are in our, you know, our circle. Yeah, I mean, it used to be a cool thing where I like found my long lost friends on Facebook and whatnot. But then yeah. I feel like what it does to actually like people who are around you, it just it's kind of isolating. Yeah, yeah, in a way, because you're so in this other realm and you're like too busy. Like how many times are you talking to your friend and they're like, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what and I feel like when I'm up. hanging out with you. Can't you at least just specify this short amount of time to eat with me and look at me and talk to me? I should have said that. <laughs> <laughs> Pay attention to this person who's right in front of you. And I find a lot of the time now, you don't even need to talk to your friends to really know how they're doing. I mean, like when's yeah. the last time you actually called someone? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel nervous every time I'm I calling know, somebody. It's just become Facebook yeah. messaging, WhatsApp, yeah. Twitter, like we don't actually have real conversations yeah. as much anymore. IKEA in Taiwan had this experiment where they like invite um, their customers to come over and for like hot pot because like Chinese people and hot mm. pot is like perfect, right? The hot pot table is powered by their smartphones. So they're supposed to like put away their smartphones in there. Mm -hmm. and it's like annoying because like you can see your smartphone in there and then you, have, you can see <laughs> so all the messages that come. Phone. Yeah, but you can't take it out because if you take one phone out, like it's not, the water's not going to be hot enough. We're all guilty of this one. We're all stalkers on social media. Whether or not we like to admit it. Admit it or believe <laughs> it, we are. Because if you're on someone else's page, you are stalking. You're not doing your research, come no. on. You're not doing research. Actually, it can be filed as research, but it's like stalking research. That what it pictures did he like? Yeah. Or whose pictures did he like? Like, who are these people? Yeah. How come I was never introduced to these people? <laughs> like, he's like, what's going on? So I find this actually happens a lot in the whole dating process. Pre-dating, so oh when God. you're trying to find information about someone and kind of like who is this kind of guy whose friends are he <laughs> things like so that's the pre-dating and then like during dating why did he post our pictures and is he trying to hide something who is this worst? girl <laughs> who is that person social media in this case i yeah. would say is the root of all evil unfortunately if you break up or whatever that's like social worst. media is the worst but you have mutual friends and then they yeah. pop up one way or another. It just magnifies all the problems that you have to deal with. Yeah, so even like the simple things like accepting a friend request, why did you accept her or him? Am I not enough? <laughs> I would hate it when they say that to me though. Yeah. If you like someone else's picture, it's like, well, why did you like their picture? As you said, it like magnifies every problem. Like unnecessary problems. Yeah. How many hours of the day do you dedicate to scrolling down your newsfeed or leaving comments or stalking and everything we've talked about? When you're about to go to bed and then you, I would do my round like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Yeah. And then you go to YouTube and then and you go after, back to Facebook yeah. again. <laughs> only after you finished all of them will you be at peace and you're like, okay, I'm really ready for bed and it's 2 a.m. Especially because a lot of my friends are overseas, so I'm like, what am I missing out on? Oh my god, FOMO! So this one is pretty much about doing things on social media that seek other people's approval or to make other people that follow you think 
you know, you're a certain way and you have a certain lifestyle. Yeah. Like there's that Australian girl who broke down and everything because she was like, it's all fake, don't believe it. And there are a lot of trends on social media and then those trends, whether you realize it or not, you actually like kind of follow what everyone else is doing. Like yeah. if they go to a certain place, like you want to check out that place just because a lot of people have been there and then you see it all over your know, social media and yeah. all over your Instagram and stuff. I know in fashion, so many people will just buy a product, take a photo of it oh and I've heard people that take a photo of it and return it. Is this the culture that we're creating? It's so shallow and so just like materialistic. Like those marble stuff, the marble, marble whatever. Stuff, or the like plant that everyone oh likes gosh, to this, take. The plant actually has a name. The plants is called Monstera Deliciosa or something. Wingardium Deliosa. <laughs> And I mean, this isn't just in fashion. I mean, like in China, the Fu or Dai, which is like the very elite rich kids of China, they are the culprit of social, like abusing social media to kind of gain popularity as well. There was that guy who put like two gold Apple watches on his dog. Each worth a car, $17,000 watch. Yeah. You don't have that kind of lifestyle. You kind of want to have that kind of lifestyle. So it's just like putting more pressure on ourselves. Something that's not achievable for yeah. the... For the regular Joes. For the regular Joes. <laughs> Basically, this is more about selfies and taking selfie. It's pretty crazy that selfie is actually now a word in yeah. the dictionary. Like, yeah, the Oxford Dictionary realizes it's a legit word. It's really just catapulted the way we, you know, show ourselves. But also, it's created more avenues for marketing because there's so many social campaigns, like you know, the bucket challenge, mm. which is predominantly spread through taking a video or a picture of yourself to kind of spread awareness of things. Yeah. So I guess on that note, it's a really good thing. But like, how many times do you go on Instagram and someone, you know, takes a selfie of themselves and puts this really deep and meaningful oh quote my gosh. that has That's nothing totally to do with it? Yeah, and they're like, <laughs> and yeah, world peace, okay. This other thing that I'm guilty of though, not exactly like selfie, but then when I'm taking a picture with my friends or my sisters or whatever, I have to make sure that I look good in that picture. Yes. Who cares what <laughs> other people look like? If anything, just crop them out. Yeah. <laughs> so bad, so bad. Jokes. And also that like, I have so many friends that upload a photo and you know, keep track of them, how many likes, in a specific time period and if the statistics don't match up to like the Dude. previous post then yeah. they'll take it down like yeah how many of you are guilty of taking down a photo because it hasn't got enough likes why aren't people liking my picture <laughs> is it the filter like, is it the angle <laughs> oh my god <laughs> why don't they like me that's the whole yeah. thing like why don't they like me just please like me i think like there's a whole strategy it, behind like posting every picture like you have to post it at a certain time time yeah there's like a golden hour pretty much it. I'm sure you guys know where we're coming from because I think everyone is a victim of social media and indulging too much in it. So we actually have a challenge for you guys that we will participate in as well. In I don't know how I'm gonna do it. No, we have to. <laughs> it's called the Digital Detox if you guys haven't heard of it. So it's like a movement to kind of, you know, reconnect and kind of detox from social media. So what we challenge you guys to do is to go a day without using any social media. So no Facebook. 24 hours. Yeah. And just connect with the people that you see in front of you. What about text message? Do they count? You can still text message. You can still call because that's not social media. Because otherwise, how are you going to talk to me? We usually talk on Facebook message and then... I'm only one call away. <laughs> You actually have to call me. <laughs> we'll send smoke signals and Morse code. <laughs> Dude, Pigeons. I, I actually <laughs> pigeon <nail. laughs> Owl. Hedwig. It will be interesting to see whether you guys have any withdrawals or anything like that. So even though it's kind of ironic and goes against everything we're preaching in this video, remember to follow us on our Instagram, which is OTGW Crew. That's all we have to say for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys later. Bye.